Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil for you the completely restyled Winnebago Vista and Sunstar 29V available here at Litson RV. America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries, we're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award each year consistently since 2015. Recently, we were also named a Flying W Platinum Award winner for service and support after the sale. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford investment in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals in which they recommend breaking in without towing for the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to seat those cylinders in that 7.3 liter V8. As opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in and protect that Ford powertrain, sleep that first night in your bed and eat that first meal in your factory fresh Winnebago Vista or Sunstar 29V available here at Litson RV. Restyled completely on the inside and out. This is a luxurious upgrade now to the best-selling Class A gas full wall slide out with an exterior tailgate center. You can see recently completely restyled on the front end with an all new front cap, a large panoramic one piece windshield. We'll walk you through this entire vehicle on the outside and then walk our way through the inside of the 29B floor plan. You'll see we've ordered this coach factory fresh in the Cloudburst full body base coat, clear coat, automotive finish. It's also been upgraded with the exterior upgrade package that includes LED headlamps, turn signals, fog lamps, chrome side mirrors, and a grill inlay applique. We also stocked the 29V in this, the Moonlight exterior. Again, a full body base coat, clear coat, automotive finish, restyled on the front and the rear, and all new styling as we get inside the 29V. As we now begin to work our way around towards the front, you'll see a proprietary quality advantage from Winnebago Industries in the fact that the windshield is mounted in steel, just like your light duty passenger car or truck using automotive style urethane. This is a voluntary effort from Winnebago Industries. It is not mounted using a rubber bulb seal gasket like competing RV manufacturers. A beautiful new front end again with the LED headlamps, turn signals, fog lamps, the chrome side mirrors and the grill inlay applique. This also includes the front invisible protective mask to protect that full body base coat, clear coat automotive finish. The Winnebago Vista and Sunstar 29V are identical all the way down to features, quality, content and price. We being a full line dealership from Winnebago Industries, we can provide you that unbiased opinion. The two are made on the same line by the same people right here in Forest City, Iowa. The coach is powered by the Ford F53 chassis with a nimble 50 degree wheel cut and powered by the new fuel efficient 7.3 liter free breathing dual valve V8 engine boasting nearly 470 pounds feet of torque or power. It's then made it up with the Torque Shift Select six speed automatic overdrive transmission with tow haul mode and grade braking capabilities. It features safety enhancements such as electronic stability control, hill start assessed, automatic headlamp activation and Ford telematics are now available through Ford Pass. It also features a new and improved suspension package for superior ride and handling. We'll cover the interior upgrades to the Ford F53 chassis as we get inside this floor plan. Sliding around towards the driver's side. Again, chrome mirrors which are part of that exterior upgrade package. Down below, you'll see stainless steel wheel liners over the 19 and a half inch wheels. We have included the factory installed upgrade of the side video camera monitoring system that you can see just below the chrome mirrors. This is dedicated with an individual input for three total security cameras and automatically articulates using the turn signal column. 
Again, this is the Asdell Composite Sidewall, a proprietary quality advantage from Winnebago Industries. Asdell onboard composite panels are half the weight compared to competing manufacturers that still use Luon plywood. They're half the weight leading to improved fuel efficiency. They will not grow mold or mildew and will not rot since they are composite. No delamination when used to specifications. They're not affected by freezing and warming cycles and they are green certified with no formaldehyde, toxic chemicals or materials. It includes double the insulation value and a better sound barrier. No deforestation occurs for its production and provides for a longer RV life. Down below here you'll see certain of the exposed bare metal which Winnebago uses but voluntarily provides leading industry rust protection with its e-coating process recently undergoing a multi-million dollar expansion on their e-coat facility. Down below here you'll see the computerized automatic hydraulic levelers. E-coating is used by leading automotive manufacturers to protect the vehicles from corrosion in which critical steel structural components are processed through a multi-stage full immersion electrocoating system. This is a 10-stage process and every part is submerged in 10 different chemical tanks. Here at Winnebago Industries, 100% of the manufactured steel parts are either galvanized or e-coated, providing you the best protection in the industry. Again, a voluntary effort. Down below here, you'll see the 18 gallon LP capacity. You can also see the pump for the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. Of course, this coach features Winnebago super steel superstructure con construction in which fully unitized steel drivers compartments include the steel firewall, seats that are bolted to a steel floor compared to wood floors found on competing manufacturers. It also includes a steel firewall for safety. We'll also cover the one-piece fiberglass roof as we work to the rear of the Winnebago Vista and Sunstar 29V. And we'll jump up atop the roof to show you that quality advantage. Here you'll see several automotive solenoids and breakers with great pass-through storage in this floor plan. This coach includes 122 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. Here you'll see all of your water hookups in one easy to access location. Working away from the left to the right, you'll see a whole house sediment filtration system. You can see the drainage for the 61 gallon gray tank and the 40 gallon black tank. In the upper right hand corner there, you'll see a black tank flush. So after draining the 40 gallon black tank, you can actually irrigate that out using a non-potable water hose and then complete your drainage with the 61 gallon gray tank. The gray tank being larger because it does include the extra your tailgate package that we'll showcase here in a moment. Again, three and a half inch PVC for a quicker, more sanitary drainage. You can see a dedicated city water input. And then above here is the quick port for expanding what is standard, the solar panel charging battery system. And then optional are the panels atop the roof, although they are plug and play. So we can simply expand that to customize your solar experience. The water pump is behind that drainage system. And then also here you'll see an innovative freshwater diverter valve in which if you're getting ready to leave a resort or campground, you can very simply change that fill valve over to the tank fill position to fill the 77 gallons of total fresh water capacity. Again, there is the black waste tank flush that we talked about just a few seconds ago. Not only does this lead in great freshwater capacity because Winnebago does manufacture all of their seamless one-piece rotocast tanks in-house, being able to modify the tanks around the floor plan as opposed to the floor plan around the tanks like competing manufacturers based in Elkhart, Indiana, which have to go out and purchase their tanks from third-party suppliers and then fit them into a floor plan. Winnebago can manufacture those rotocast tanks to fit around the floor plan to maximize freshwater tank and holding tank capacity. Of course, all of the plumbing use PEX residential quality tubing with quick connect 
compression connectors at key locations. Each of those one-piece rotocast tanks are also then spin welded as opposed to using compression plumbing clamps like competing manufacturers. Here you'll see additional storage and again 122 cubic feet of basement storage. Again a great pass-through location right here. Just behind this compartment is where you'll see the fuel fill location. 80 gallons of total fuel capacity for the coach. Just behind here you'll see the 50 amp electrical service because we do have the upgraded cooling upgrade package which features dual 13.5 high efficiency ducted air conditioners, a larger 5500 watt Cummins own and marquee gold generator and 50 amp electrical service. Because of that then here we have the automatic transfer switch which will automatically toggle your electricity input from shoreline service or from the Cummins own and 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator that sips fuel off of the top three quarters of the 80 gallon fuel capacity. Again, this is the Cloudburst exterior, a very light silver color, easy to cool, easy to maintain. Here you can see the Cummins own in 5500 watt micro quiet marquee gold gasoline generator to the rear. And now as we zoom back out, again, these are the Asdell composite sidewalls, a full wall slide out here using the Power Gear Slim Rack system. You can see the deeper, darker tint in the frameless windows. You'll also see the LP water heater with electronic ignition off to the side there, just underneath the middle window. Of course, standard is a slide room awning so that you can not have to worry about grooming off leaves, twigs, and a squeegee seal provides for wiping off those slide rooms as they're brought in. To the rear, a beautiful one-piece fiberglass end cap, again restyled for the current model year. With a ladder that brings you up to Winnebago's patented one-piece interlapped and interlocked fiberglass roof. Just above the rear master bedroom window, you'll see the high mount brake lamp as well as the third camera. This is the rear view camera monitoring system in which you can monitor a bike rack, a utility trailer, a towed vehicle while in transit, but also providing that third camera. You can see this rear window is the emergency window, so it is on a hinged fastener at the top to allow for egress. This coach is on the upgraded Ford 18,000 pound chassis, so it does boast over 1,300 pounds of occupant and cargo carrying capacity, from which then you would remove any people, cargo, or fresh water that you may travel with. We still maintain then a full 5,000 pound factory installed tow package because the gross combined weight rating for the coach is 23,000 pounds. Even if you use all of the 1,300 plus pounds of occupant and cargo carrying capacity, you can still pull a full 5,000 pounds. To the rear here then a very convenient LPG gas grill connect purposely located at this location so that you can grill on the patio side or towards the rear depending upon wind whip and then to the rear exhausting for the low profile ducted furnace which is a 30,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace and now unlike any other RV dealer in North America we're going to elevate up to show you all of the quality components atop the roof of this Vista 29V we actually chose the Moonlight exterior for this particular coach because this particular coach had the solar panels up top on the roof. Again, that is the option. Standard is the solar panel trickle charging system. Working our way from the rear to the front, you'll see a Max Air sealed vent for the master bedroom. Off to the right then is the solar panel. Again, this is expandable because it does use that quick connect plug and play off to the right. Each of the dual 13.5, 13,500 BTU, high efficiency, low profile ducted air conditioning units. Again, part of the exterior cooling upgrade package. We do include this on all of the vehicles that we do offer from Winnebago Industries. Forward of that, then you'll see a max air vent system, again, for the bath and for the galley. A skylight for the oversized shower for the bath in one.
you'll see several different sewer drain caps just to the left of that 26 by 38 inch shower. Forward to that, then you'll see the WineGuard Air 360 Plus that includes your local off-air high definition antenna, but also Wi-Fi boosting and a cellular LTE hotspot that you can actually use a SIM card from your current provider to provide dedicated 24-7 internet. We'll cover that as we get inside the Vista 29B. Also, you'll see up top on the roof then is the antenna for Sirius XM satellite radio. This is Winnebago's patented one-piece fiberglass roof. It is interlapped and interlocked into channels that are integrated to provide superior structural components and integrity, as opposed to competing manufacturers that still use wooden trusses and bat stuffing. This is a laminate block foam roof that provides superior R value, but also stability. You can literally walk across the top of this You'll see it is lighter in color intentionally to cool the coach easier. Be sure to check out all of our connectivity enhancement videos on our parts page on Litson.com in which we walk you through different types of cellular connectivity, whether that be Starlink or this Wi-Fi booster and LTE hotspot from WineGuard and also any satellite options that you may want. And now as we work our way back down towards the patio side of the 29B, we'll cover all of the quality components upon the passenger side of the coach. Standard now is the exterior tailgate package with a complete exterior kitchen with more storage than any other competitor with similar exterior tailgate kitchens. The tailgate package includes the refrigerator along with a three door cabinet, LED lighting, the quick connect LP hose that you saw out towards the rear, a stainless steel drop-in sink with a single control kitchen style faucet, a wall-mounted bottle opener, garbage bag holder, and paper towel holder. This sink area then drains into the main 61 gallon gray tank so you don't have a separate tank to have to drain compared to competing manufacturers. This location outside is also tied into the 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter for convenient use with the tailgate package and exterior entertainment center, as well as select household appliances inside. This allows you to power these appliances directly off of the dual deep cycle group 31 RV batteries without having to be plugged in or without having to run your generator. You can see the freezer up top and then also the refrigerator components down below. Again, the great thing of that 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter is you can run one of these smaller Keurigs outside here for wonderful morning gatherings to get ready for the day. You can see the cabinetry along with slam latches intentionally designed with metal from Winnebago Industries. Of course, all of the appliances and cabinets are mounted into the superstructure steel sidewalls as opposed to competing manufacturers that still screw those into wood cabinets you're not going to have things flying out it's going to provide a much more durable coach for the long term but also minimizes squeaks and rattles compared to competing manufacturers that have to go out and purchase their cabinets from third-party suppliers being allowed to control tolerances and fit and finish Winnebago cabinets are custom made for each floor plan Again, a waterfall style drop-in stainless steel sink with a single control kitchen faucet. Using computer aided design with not only this tailgate package area on the outside, it provides design innovation to, to ensure precise fits with all components and eliminating wasted space, but also taking advantage of every square inch of storage that is available. Some great storage here on the outside as well. Of course, all of the drawers that pull out are full length extensions using metal drawer glides compared to competing manufacturers that still pinch pennies using plastic drawer glides or not providing a full drawer. 
As we work our way to the outside here, we'll then wrap up with some specifications. The 29V is 30 feet tip to tip. It is a wide body at eight and a half feet. 12 feet one to 12 feet three inches on the outside, depending upon factory installed options available. And it provides an interior ceiling height of six feet eight inches. Again, 122 cubic feet of basement storage that does reduce the cubic footage previously providing 147, but had the optional tailgate package to be deleted. Now it is a standard component. Also standard on the outside here is the exterior entertainment center. This exterior entertainment center then includes an articulating mount for the high definition television so that depending upon the sun or wind angle, you can customize that experience. It also has the exterior speakers. But just a great 39 inch high definition television. Here you can see side hung compartment doors along with additional storage, but then also here off to the left is where you'll see the pure sine wave inverter. You can see a marine port here down towards the bottom that allows you to plug in an extension cord directly into that inverter setup there. Whether that be an extension cord for an outside heater, for an outside blackstone griddle, or for any of your appliances that you may use outside, it plugs directly into this duplex up top. Larger, tighter bulb seal gaskets provide for dry compartments, but also a tighter fit for insulation. This is a heated basement in which as long as you're running the low profile ducted furnace, it does keep the basement warm. You can see all of the E-coated components. Down below here, you'll see a Pet Pal tie out for securing not only a pet, but also high-end bicycles. Nice tie out here right on the patio side that can be removed with a thumb nut. If that is something that you choose not to use. Down below, you'll see the electric entry step and an easy to access entry handle. Of course, this main entry door is cut out of the same side wall for tighter insulation and eliminating wind whip compared to competing manufacturers that go out and purchase their doors from third parties. Here you'll see a 19 foot powered patio awning with LED lighting, providing expansive coverage for your patio side. This is a powered patio awning that is armless, so you're not gonna have that head knocker. A large panoramic window here right off of the large living area and dining area. And again, this is the Cloudburst. We also stock it in the Moonlight. And now as we work our way inside the Winnebago Vista and Sunstar 29B, we'll cover one sweeping shot of this floor plan and then we'll cover things in more detail. We've ordered this coach factory fresh in the all new town and country with lighter ultra fabrics and Salinas Oak cabinetry, which is handcrafted by Winnebago Industries using computer aided design so that not only can they maximize interior storage space, but minimize tolerances in fit and finish, which long-term will minimize squeaks and rattles compared to competing manufacturers. A great floor plan because it does provide wonderful sleeping capacity, but an oversized benchmark style dinette that we'll cover here in detail in a moment with an oversized bath in one. It does also feature a large king bed to the rear with wonderful storage underneath. Standard is the one piece flooring that runs front to rear in which all of the cabinets and walls are set atop that to eliminate splits compared to competing manufacturers. A large inline galley
we've equipped us with the upgrade of the home theater seating option because you still can sleep up top with the optional powered studio loft bed that we always stock that does also feature a 600 pound capacity upfront ultra leather Primera seats from ultra fabrics rotate to become integral living components and now let's cover each of the main living areas in the 29v in more detail again this is the optional theater seating setup it provides recliners that expand out with a storage location in between with cup holders directly across from the oversized high-definition television. You could actually use this as a single sleeper. Up top, a large bank of overhead Salinas oak cabinetry, again, mounted in the steel superstructure from Winnebago Industries. Beautiful slide-out trim, and the upgraded True American MCD roller shade system. You can see side hung windows, especially in conjunction with the Max Air vent system provides for wonderful fresh air ventilation. LED lighting is used throughout the coach, which is 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent and cooler to the touch than halogen lighting. Again, this features USB outlets and then each of these glide out as a recliner using the same Ultra Fabrics Primera leather. It is a synthetic leather, so you could be more aggressive in cleaning, but it's also cooler during the summer and not so cold during the winter time. And this is all in the full wall slide out towards the driver's side. You can see the USB charging point stations. Two on each side, and then again, each of these glide open to provide a comfortable home theater setup. Right across from the interior 39 inch high definition television that we'll showcase here in a moment. One piece flooring is very easy to clean. You can literally Swiffer this coach out in a matter of seconds. You can then armrest and cup holder, then glide back up to provide a single sofa setup. Technically, as equipped with this home theater, this will sleep six to seven, depending upon whether or not you use this sofa as an additional sleeping surface. Innovative storage then underneath this location with additional storage. Again, this is all possible because each of these components are built in-house by Winnebago Industries, in which over 70% of the components are made in-house versus outsourcing which allows parts to be available for years to come and they can be precisely engineered to fit that space. Here you can see a duplex off to the right which could also be used if you need to plug in a 110 volt style tablet or charger or laptop. But a nice deep full wall slide out allows for this home theater setup. Directly across then from the home theater or sofa setup is a large benchmark, benchmark style dinette with great storage and three additional safety belts, including the latch style system for a car seat. Up top there, then you can see the 39 inch high definition television. And again, we can equip that with any type of satellite connectivity if that is what you prefer, or you can stream directly off of the Wi Fi booster or LTE hotspot. Here you can see the cold air intake for the Coleman Mach Dual 13,500 BTU low profile, energy efficient, high efficiency air conditioners with chill grill technology in which you can quickly cool that coach using the additional outlets so that they blow air for the cold air output directly off of the air conditioner without running through the ceiling so it'll quickly cool the coach. You can then close those off for whisper quiet heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. 
Again, great storage here in the 29V above this benchmark dinette. Also, you can see here in this location is where the television plugs in, but also you can expand any components with an HDMI input to preserve high definition connectivity. You can see the window valances, and then these are tip out jealousy awning style windows that you can leave cracked open even during nominal rain. But true MCD American roller shade system. This is the benchmark dinette with the high low table. I mentioned the high low table because this can be used as a standing desk or as an additional prep space for the large inline galley or kitchen. Again, this features three total safety belts, two forward facing and one rearward facing. Great storage here is located underneath this dinette, integrated cup holders and the high endurance thermophile countertop for the dinette. You can see the armrest for the dinette, the dual safety belts, which are forward facing, and then also the latch system so that you can tie in a car seat. That dinette would then actually be dropped down, which also converts into a 42 by 70 inch sleeping surface, a convenient 110 volt duplex and 12 volt PowerPoint station. You can see the attention to detail in the stitching and piping for the Ultra Fabrics Primera Leather. Again, this is the town and country interior with the lighter Ultra Fabrics. Again, this dinette converts into a 42 by 70 inch sleeping surface. Here we've converted this now to the upper table. So there is storage underneath, but then you can also use this as a standing desk or as additional prep space for the kitchen and galley area. See the integrated cup holders. And then again, this glides down to provide the first of three dedicated sleeping surfaces. We'll cover the king bed here momentarily. And then the overhead powered studio loft bed, which is 50 by 80 inches. So three dedicated sleeping surfaces, and then with the home theater option, you could use that as a single sleeper. There is pass-through storage underneath the forward dinette setup, accessible from inside the step well. Here underneath this forward facing are where you'll find your convenient 12 volt breakers, easy to access in the event that you've tripped a 12 volt circuit breaker. And then here you can see how the dinette is set atop that one piece upgraded bow floor vinyl flooring to eliminate splits. You can see the furnace ducting in the floor and the basement for the 30,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. Convenient multiplex wiring allows you to completely retire all of the lighting in the evening from inside the step well area or from in the king bed area. Here is the pass through storage for the dinette area, easy grab and go items as you're entering or exiting the 29V. You can see the steel that this is mounted into for the dinette. Down below you'll find the auxiliary battery disconnect switch for the dual deep cycle group 31 RV batteries as well as for the compartment lighting and awning switches. You can also turn that electric step on or off. We generally recommend that you leave it off so that it will automatically then come in when the ignition key is turned on and placed in gear to drive away, that step will come in automatically. But that way when you open and close the door, even if it's the screen door, those steps aren't coming in and out. Here you can see controls for the lighting in the lounge, galley, and hallway. Controls for the awning. Previously down below were the pitch components for the awning porch lighting and then completely retiring to ensure no parasitic draw. You can one touch turn all of the lighting off. A great storage tool and a great tool for in the evening. A beautiful chair rail is included for decorative Salinas oak cabinetry inside this large kitchen and inline galley. You'll see a drop in stainless steel sink with true Corian countertops and a Corian backsplash. This is the higher luster from DuPont 
Corian countertops, a full bank of overhead Salinas oak cabinetry. And you can see on each of the compartment doors outside and then each of the cabinet doors, you'll see a small little sticker with the serial number and the component. Heaven forbid, should you have any body damage or cabinet damage, you can very simply contact our team with that number and we can have one stained or painted out and sent to you. Here you'll see a large over the range microwave stainless steel and then underneath a three burner range top with LP oven. Here you'll see the larger class A style overhead over the range microwave. Overhead there is a powered ventilator ceiling fan. You can see the Corian backsplash with a multitude of duplex outlets for household appliances. The three burner range top and large LP oven with a pot and pan drawer down below. Of course, we haven't forgotten the location for the waste paper basket underneath the sink with a drop in stainless steel sink, oversized and dual split for cleaning dishes and drying dishes. A large overhead single control kitchen faucet, then with a pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. And of course, what everybody raves about upcoming then the dual door, large 10 cubic foot compressor driven stainless steel refrigerator and freezer. This is a compressor driven residential 12 volt style with the refrigerator and freezer, oversized in nature and 10 cubic feet. We'll stop first and cover the three burner range top and oven. The glass cooktop cover provides not only additional countertop space, but an easy to clean backsplash. A large oversized oven then underneath the three burner range top and a large pot and pan drawer. And again, all of the drawers are full length extensions with metal drawer glides compared to competing manufacturers that trip over pennies and nickels to save a few bucks in which they use plastic drawer glides and don't provide a full length drawer. You can see the stainless steel trim ties in the entire kitchen, not only with the refrigerator and freezer, but with the stainless steel sink. Again, this will pull off of the 18 gallon LP capacity primarily used for the low profile ducted furnace. But just some great storage inside a nimble 30 foot coach. Again, all full length drawer glides, metal drawer glides see several of the accessories that come with the coach, the whole house sediment filter, and also the tire tool, multitude of remotes for each of the three TVs, and then also for the front Sony radio. Great storage underneath here, great location for the waste paper basket, but also color-coded access to your winterization valves. Unfortunately, if you do have to winterize the coach, Winnebago makes it extremely easy with color-coded valves here, but then also you saw the siphon in the outside water utility compartment to bring in RV antifreeze right directly into the 12 volt on-demand water pump. It'll pull then the RV antifreeze as opposed to the inputs normally used for the 77 gallons of total freshwater capacity. Again, right across from this location, then additional lighting controls for the hallway, the lounge, the galley, the sofa, and then also the kitchen or galley overhead. A beautiful neutral style colored wallboard. Above then is the Winnebago connected coach. Right underneath this panel is where you'll see a thermostat for the high efficiency air conditioning system. But the Winnebago Connected Coach now allows for over the air updates to an array of Winnebago inputs, but also each of the Winnebago suppliers. An array of information on one easy to access panel. 
You can see each of the freshwater black gray tanks, fuel, LP readouts, controls to turn on and off your on-demand water pump as well as the LP water heater with electronic ignition. It'll display the weather when connected to internet, master lighting switches, alerts will display on this, the ability to start and stop the Cummins Zone generator from outside of the normal components using Winnebago Connected Coach and eventually long reach or Wi-Fi connectivity will be included for this. You'll see controls for the van, fans and the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system with a programmable thermostat. You'll see lighting controls zoned and color coded so that you know where you're turning lights on and off. And again, a location to turn on and off master lighting switches. The next button will allow you to control the slide out, automatic hydraulic leveling jacks the bed lift, and the awning directly from inside on this panel. But again, you'll have the capability for far-reaching connectivity when you're away from your RV using Connected Coach when that becomes available. This ties directly into the WineGuard Air 360 Plus with Wi-Fi boosting. It does come included with a WineGuard pay-as-you-go plan for data, but you can swap out that SIM card for your local carrier, if it's Verizon or AT&T and run that directly off of your data plan. The overhead powered studio loft bed provides for a 600 pound capacity, one touch operation in which you don't have to alter the front cab seats. It does include a small ladder for easy access, although most will use the home theater setup to gain access to, individual lighting, 110 volt outlets, and net catch alls so ensuring that things aren't rolling off of your oversized bed. Just shy of a traditional queen bed, this is 50 by 80 inches. Features great connectivity with power. Here you can see the Euro style slat suspension. Keeps your mattress nice and cooled, but yet providing a nice firm mattress. As opposed to competing manufacturers that still lay a vinyl backed mattress over plywood, which is ripe for mold and mildew buildup. This will keep your mattress cooler, but also minimizing any type of high humid conditions with mold or mildew buildup. So some great storage, some great capacity, just shy of a queen bed and a 600 pound carrying capacity for the overhead studio loft bed. The second of three dedicated sleeping surfaces, a fourth being if you choose to use the home theater setup. You'll see a location for alerts and then the ability to dim that panel so that you can use this as a nightlight or completely turn it off for darkness in the evening inside your hallway. You can see the LED lighting and the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling, an interior ceiling height of 6 feet 8 inches. And now returning to the Winnebago Connected Coach panel. See the next button will provide for resources as well as a QR code directly to your owner's manual for the Winnebago Vista. Although most will contact their factory trained consultant here at Litson RV in which we appoint a dedicated service consultant, parts consultant, sales consultant, manager, finance manager, general manager, and of course myself as the dealer principal for a complete team environment supporting your every RV need. The nice thing about that is that you don't have to start over each time that you call in. We're gaining that relationship to really provide for an efficient guest experience. Really cleans up this panel with only one panel in the entire area, but all in one easy to access location. Overhead then is the Max Air vent system, again with a sealed marine hood up top so that you can leave this open or on while in transit. Removes any of the exhaust fans from the kitchen or galley area. Again, this is the stainless steel double door refrigerator and freezer. It is a compressor driven refrigerator, so it operates efficiently 
At higher altitudes, you don't have to be precisely level for this to function like an absorption LP style refrigerator or freezer. It does have a nighttime mode so that if you like a perfectly quiet coach to retire to, you can turn off all of that white noise associated with the compressor running. but a very efficient 10 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer with adjustable bins and shelves. Of course, a large pantry is also included. with a split shelf down below. And then the top, including the pull-out pantry shelves. All trimmed out in beautiful Salinas oak cabinetry. See one of the stickers that we mentioned earlier with your serial number and part component on it. Across from this then is an oversized bath in one with a true hardwood sliding pocket door to provide privacy to the master bedroom. Inside this bath then, a residential height style porcelain bowl toilet with a modified elongated seat and a foot pedal flush. A great mirrored area and also mirrored medicine cabinet. Yet again, another Max Air vent with a sealed marine hood. Continuing with the LED lighting. Inside the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling. As opposed to competing manufacturers that still use Luon based wallboard inside their ceilings. A large 26 by 38 inch rectangular style shower with a mirrored area to the right but also a textured glass shower door with secure travel latch. Inside this area a flexible handheld shower head allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when RVing off the grid. An overhead skylight provides for beautiful indirect lighting and a one-piece pan and a one-piece surround provides for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. Again, a large rectangular 26 by 38 inch shower. Outside then in the bath area, all of the accessories are included in Winnebago branded models as opposed to other RV manufacturers that go out and have you have to purchase accessories for your bath area. This includes the towel bar, towel ring, rope hook, tissue holder, a medicine cabinet which has a mirror door and then also an additional mirror. The cabinetry here within the bath then are thermoform style countertops, so very endurant. A color matched waterfall style sink with a single control lavatory faucet and yet again another duplex for bathroom appliances. This being a GFCI protected outlet. Of course, we haven't forgotten the location for the second waste paper basket inside this oversized bath in one, directly underneath the sink area. And again, this is a porcelain toilet. It is residential height. It includes a foot pedal flush and a modified elongated bowl. Again, all of the cabinetry is dropped atop that one piece upgraded bow floor vinyl flooring. A convenient pull out sink sprayer is included for easy maintenance and easy cleaning of your toilet. And we continue with the low profile ducted furnace to provide heat not only to the basement, but also inside the oversized bath in one. There you can see the towel bar, the rope hook, and then yet again, another linen style closet inside the bath.
continue with the same colored wallboard even behind the cabinetry compared to competing manufacturers that seem in lesser quality wallboards or even in some cases wallpaper or in some cases just painted plywood behind cabinets. Again, all tied into the steel superstructure. We're going away now inside the master bedroom. This is a 72 by 75 inch king bed with wonderful storage down below underneath. A true hardwood pocket door provides privacy to the master bedroom. A contemporary headboard is included along with lighting overhead. A nice power point station on each of the nightstands that does include 110 volt and USB outlets for charging your cell phone, tablet, or using a CPAP or BPAP machine. Continuing on with the second of the dual 13.5 BTU high efficiency ducted air conditioning system units. This also includes the chill grill technology for rapid cooling. You can then close that off for whisper quiet operation of the dual air conditioning system. Another max air vent system to the rear, again with that sealed marine hood so that you can leave that open in transit or during the evening or when you're away from the coach and not have to worry about waterfall penetrating your vista. Great storage overhead. A shirt closet is included on each side, but we have a large chest of drawers and wardrobe cabinetry location access at the foot of this bed we'll showcase here in a moment. Great storage on each side and people really rave. I've personally used a 29V floor plan. The PowerPoint station is awesome on each side of that king bed because it does allow for usage of a CPAP or BPAP machine, but also a nice location to house your tablet or smartphone. Everybody sleeps next to their smartphone now and there's a nice location here to charge it either off of electricity or off of the 12 volt USB PowerPoint station. Gets it out of the way and ensures that you're not going to knock it in the middle of the night. Great storage overhead underneath this location then, being that large drawer and then the PowerPoint station and then also storage on each side of the walk around king bed. Cavernous storage is included underneath this king bed because it does elevate up on a gas strut to stay upright. It's a great location for heavier items such as bottled water, soda. Directly underneath the bed, we'll open this here in a moment. We'll cover the other storage component at the rear of the bed, a full drawer underneath. And then up top, another wardrobe style cabinet closet area here that can be used for folding storage, a dual twin to the USB and electricity style charging locations for the charging station. can also be used for a CPAP or BPAP machine. Contemporary shaker style cabinets. And then just behind here is where you'll also see another storage closet. This one including a shirt closet, the other one including the split style shelving. But of course at the foot of the bed, a large chest of drawers and wardrobe closet on each side. Included is the Winnebago runner at the foot of the bed. And as we elevate this up, we'll showcase all of the cavernous storage inside this king bed. It includes a foam mattress with all of this storage underneath. The great thing about it is that since it is a larger bed, it still will stay elevated because it is on a gas strut to provide just incredible storage access underneath this 72 by 75 inch sleeping surface. You'll see technician also included underneath that. The location to mount the ladder for the overhead powered studio loft bed. Again, this is set atop that one piece sheet of upgraded flooring. Very easy to clean. Again, you can swiffer this out in a matter of seconds. Decorative cord trim to transition the vinyl flooring to the wallboard.
Again, this will stay elevated and then very simply drops down and clasps in place. Now at the foot of the bed, some great storage with wardrobe closets on each side. There you saw the emergency exit window with the deeper, darker tint, continuing with the MCD roller shade system. In this location, then you'll also see the optional bedroom television that we include on all of ours. The nice thing about this is it elevates up to provide access behind this flat panel 32 inch high definition television. So great storage behind here. You could also then include additional connectivity, whether that be a fire stick directly into the HDMI, a high definition Blu-ray player or satellite receiver. It will then tie directly into the high definition television to preserve that high definition programming. And again, this just elevates up on a gas strut but provides all of this additional storage. And now as we button this back up, we'll elevate back now to showcase all of the storage. A large chest of drawers with wardrobe compartments on each side, a total of six drawers, all of which are full length extensions with metal drawer glides. Just a tremendous amount of storage here in this chest of drawers. Again, with a thermal foil vanity area just underneath that television and just forward of the driver's side window. Here is a location to store the pedestal table that you saw between the driver and passenger seat up front. So you can store the table and pedestal in this compartment and ensure that nothing is gonna bounce around in transit. Just to the other side of the 32 inch high definition television is yet again another wardrobe cabinet. Here you'll see another tip out jealousy style window. The nice thing about that, it's an awning style window that you can leave cracked even during nominal rain. Just tremendous storage here in each of these six drawers with positive lock latching mechanisms so they're not going to open up in transit. But just an incredible amount of storage in a nimble 30 foot coach. Comes in underneath that 36 foot magical mark for the National Park System and rural resorts and campgrounds. Very nimble with a 50 degree wheel cut. It does still feature then the 190 inch wheelbase, so a very smooth ride. And as we work our way back up front, a nice showcase there of the vinyl flooring upgrade, the powered studio loft bed overhead that we took down earlier. Up front then is a powered MCD shade that can be used as a powered sun visor, but also provide a thermal break for allowing that sun to come in. Just above the entry door then, you'll see quick, easy to go, easy to access hooks for keys, hats, or whatever you may need for the day. Above this location then, You'll see connectivity for satellite receivers, again, connecting a fire stick, a high definition Blu-ray player, or any type of connectivity enhancement you may need for audio visual. Again, that entry door is cut out of the same sidewall that manufactured from Winnebago Industries. So that way you have minimal wind whip, but also a tighter insulative feel. As we work our way then inside the cockpit area, a Versa driver's seat swivels easily around the steering wheel. Each of these feature two position armrests, fixed lumbar support, each multi-adjustably slides and reclines. The passenger seat swivels with a dual position armrest with fixed lumbar support and multi-adjustable slide and recline. Each feature three point safety belts that are mounted into steel, not into a wooden floor like other RV manufacturers. Here you can see the cocktail table that can be used. So this features now two lounge chairs, one swiveled. Easily clears that driver's steering wheel. With the Versa driver's seat. A 
new refined dash experience now with Ford Motor Company with the new F53 chassis and the 7.3 liter new fuel efficient V8. You'll see power steering with a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Controls on the left end for the programmable Ford cluster. Controls for the speed controls. The ability to run in tow haul mode and also to enable grade braking capability to use the power of that torque shift transmission to ease in your braking. It keeps your brakes cool but also increases the life of your brakes using the power of that six speed torque shift transmission. Off to the left then you'll see controls for the powered mirrors with the frost as well as controls for the MCD powered nightshade. There you can see the occupant and cargo carrying capacity sticker showing over 1300 pounds. Automatic high beam headlamp activation is included. Controls for the fog lamps and the radio power switch to allow you to power the Sony radio directly off of the RV batteries as opposed to the chassis batteries getting low. A large panoramic windshield again mounted in an automotive style setup directly into steel with automotive style urethane and not a rubber bulb seal gasket like other RV manufacturers use. Here you'll see the radio and rear view camera monitoring system. This is a seven inch LCD color touchscreen radio with Apple CarPlay, Android Audio, Sirius XM satellite ready if you choose to use the app, but we also have the antenna as a factory installed option. It does include a rear color camera monitoring system. Controls then to also wirelessly connect your phone if you choose to use the Bluetooth capability or you can use the USB connection for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can see each of the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning ducts just to the left and to the right. You can see this is dropped into a beautiful instrument panel applique. Intentionally mounted in this location, slightly set back to alleviate any glare. Down below you'll see complete heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls along with an array of USB and 12 volt power points. Underneath are controls then for the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks, overhead map lighting, yet again additional 12 volt and USB power points. The battery boost switch you saw earlier, this is the radio power switch to articulate power source for that radio off of the chassis or off of the RV batteries. Again, computerized automatic hydraulic levelers with larger sand pads. On each the driver and the passenger side there are privacy panels for providing a complete blackout opaque experience in the evening. Again that powered MCD shade completely glides down to the bottom to provide privacy but also as a thermal break. Off to the right then for the passenger is storage and then also controls Four additional USB and 12 volt power point. An in-dash workstation elevates out directly into the passenger lap. Great setup for a tablet with a keyboard or a laptop or for reading a magazine or for writing a letter in transit, but also storage underneath. You can see the attention to detail with Winnebago's branding inside their own proprietary built one piece panoramic windshield. You can see the MCD shade off to the right, but then also there is a privacy panel because that is on an angle. Narrow A-pillars provide steel superstructure construction, but also increase visibility because they are more narrow compared to competing manufacturers that used to have to use bulky wooden style 
setups in their A pillars just forward of that. There is a convenient 110 volt duplex off to the right for the passenger. It can be used for a cell phone or tablet charger. It can be used for a laptop. Of course, all of the three point safety belts are mounted to the steel automotive cab just behind the steel firewall. And so as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I wanna take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil for you the completely restyled Winnebago Vista and Sunstar 29V, each of which are identical all the way down to quality, content, features, and price. Being a full-line dealership for Winnebago Motorhomes, we can provide you that unbiased opinion. They are made on the same line by the same people right here in Forest City, Iowa, and we can offer both for you. Available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and named by Winnebago Motorhomes as the North American top dealer for sales volume each year since 2015 and a Flying W Platinum Service Award winner for service and support down the road. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford powertrain investment in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals and also online in their online owner's manual in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to brake in and seat those cylinders in that 7.3 liter V8, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership. Be the first to brake in and protect that powertrain. Sleep that first night in your walk around king bed and eat that first meal in your factory fresh 29V, available here. And let's in RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson, and I want to thank you for visiting our dealership here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from the Litson RV team as to points unrelated to price why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation of or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees when purchasing an RV in the state of Iowa. You will always pay the tax, title, and license in the state in which you register your RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. We help people day in and day out from all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. At Litson RV, we have cost savings compared to other RV dealers. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We provide a complimentary thorough walk around of your RV with any RV purchase at the time of delivery. This orientation may be done in person or virtually if you prefer. This orientation is dedicated one-on-one -on -one time with a Litson RV Winnebago product expert and we'll take as much time as needed so that you can understand every function, switch, maintenance, and warranty items of your RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson RV, we want to make your stay with us as comfortable as possible. With our newly expanded campground, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filtered fresh water, and electrical hookups. This is available to guests taking delivery of their new RV or just passing through for a service appointment. We have two state-of-the-art guest lounge areas for your comfort where you can grab a cup of coffee and relax while enjoying your favorite show or use our laptop tables in our comfortable seating areas. And your pets are welcome to join you in the guest lounge and throughout the Litson RV dealership. We work with several different national lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rate and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa.